Live from KSAT 12, the night beat starts right now. With construction across the city, motorcyclists tonight are calling out safety concerns. As Texas Department of Transportation crews work to repair the pavement on I-35, drivers say some parts have become dangerous. Their biggest concern this month is the mile-long stretch of I-35 between Topperwine Road and Loop 1604. As the night team's Avery Everett shows us, TxDOT has already paved over problems there, but plans show there is still more road work to be done. With the rev of an engine, these motorcyclists have their sights set on a smooth ride. But they say right now, that's hard to come by in parts of San Antonio. So you just always have to be on your high alert mode at all times. Really? Yes. It's that serious? Very, very. Over the last month, these bikers say parts of Interstate 35 have become safety hazards. Everybody's going down on 35. I mean, it's terrible. And they say construction is all to blame. It's been really, really frustrating. Widespread construction across our city is causing concern for drivers. Motorists tell us debris and detours like all this here along I-35 makes navigating roadways here pretty difficult. And they also say it increases the likelihood of accidents. We reached out to the Texas Department of Transportation. Riders say they had the most trouble this month between the Topperwine and 1604 exits. A spokesperson confirmed work was being done to repair the road along this stretch. And just this week, it was paved over. But that spokesperson also says more milling and inlaying will happen across other areas of this interstate over the next couple of months. A statement from TxDOT reads in part, please be aware of changes in the pavement and use caution while driving through the work zone. So is it a relief then to hear that they're paving this stretch of I-35? It is today? a re huge relief. But these bikers say this problem is more widespread. We're taking all the precautions that we can and we're still going down. Keely Went says she crashed after riding through loose gravel on Walsham. I almost tore off my right pinky. Her bike is still in the shop, but she says she's just happy to be alive. I still get a little bit of anxiety thinking about even getting back on the bike because I did everything right. Her story isn't the only one. I have heard a lot of, lot of reports about riders going down and getting hurt. And that's why these motorcyclists are coming forward and asking for change. It's a dangerous situation. San Antonio continues to grow and construction is far from finished. It's going to get worse. But as these riders get ready to hit the roads again, they say safety can't be left in the dust. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News.